Hey guys, it's Sophia and welcome back to my channel. So today I actually have some September favorites. Last month I didn't have any favorites because I didn't really try anything new that I actually liked and wanted to tell you guys about. I am making up for it this month. I actually am in love with a lot of things lately and I also have some regrets that I wasn't too happy about. <laughs> So I will include those at the end of this video. So if you're interested in my September favorites, then just go ahead and keep watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first item I'm gonna be talking about is this simple cleansing micellar water. This is a great product to use to wash your face, to get all the makeup off, to get all the gunk off. I actually like to use this in the morning just so I can feel refreshed and woken up. And I feel like when I use it, it doesn't strip off all of my oils on my skin and therefore leave me incredibly dry like the Sahara Desert. And then during the day, I just get a ton of oil because my skin is freaking out and it doesn't sting. This has really been just so great for my skin. What I use at night to get off all the makeup from the day is actually this Purity Made Simple Face Wash by Philosophy. It's a three-in-one face and eye cleanser, but I actually just use this for my face because I feel like it's too heavy for my eyes. It really just takes off everything. And just like the micellar water, it doesn't leave my skin completely stripped of all its oils. I feel like it hydrates, but it doesn't make me oily. It's like the craziest thing in the world. It's actually formulated for all skin types, so I really truly feel like any kind of skin type can use this. I also know a lot of people with dry skin that love this just as much as I do. So I really truly do think that this will work for all skin types. To remove my eye makeup, I use these Alme Eye Makeup Remover Pads. And these are the ones with oil. The oil in here is mineral oil. I've always thought, oh, I have oily skin. I shouldn't use oil products ever. But on the contrary, I feel like using this has made my under eye area a lot less dry that's the only area on my skin that is severely dry therefore everything always creases on me i noticed that the bumps that i used to have under here from the dehydration are pretty much all gone this stuff is great for taking off all of your makeup as well. I do notice that sometimes my eyes get a little irritated from the amount of oil in here. So I will go in with my micellar water and just kind of clean up the extra oil. Anything that can get rid of waterproof mascara gets an A plus in my book. I actually purchased this uh, daily brush cleaner from Sephora because I wanted to use something to clean my brushes in between their actual deep cleaning. And this has worked really, really amazingly. It actually cleans the brushes like brand new. It makes them look like you actually did do a deep cleaning on them, but you didn't. It dries really quick and it doesn't have alcohol, so it won't dry out your brushes. What I do is I just take a paper towel, I spray this on my paper towel, and then depending on the type of brush, if it's synthetic, I'll go around in circles. If it's real hair, I'll just go back and forth. And it really does get everything off. I think it was 12 bucks and I got this in the checkout line at Sephora. Next products I have, I actually did a demo and review on. I will link that down below for anyone who wants to see it. And it is actually the MAC Studio Waterweight Foundation and the MAC 196 brush. I'm going to start off with a brush because I did say in the review and demo video that, you know, you don't really need this brush. It's not really worth it. It's pretty expensive. $35 for a brush is crazy, but the more I use it, the more that I love it. It's the craziest thing. It's a very dense brush, and as you can see, it's slanted. The bristles are very short, but despite it being dense, it is actually very soft. This brush gives like the most perfect airbrush look with literally any foundation. I have used it with my Tarte Amazonian Clay, with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It just works beautifully with any foundation. It really does make your face look airbrushed. This is actually the first face brush that I'm like super, super in love with. I can definitely see myself using this every single day and this mac studio waterweight foundation is the bomb.com it is perfect for an everyday foundation i use the method of spot concealing when using this foundation because i don't have perfect skin but you can see everything including my thoughts on this foundation in the video down below go ahead and watch it i love this i've used many different eyeshadow brushes in drugstore terms and i've always felt like my eyeshadow was never that you know 
well blended or it took me forever to blend and then i got this brush the mac 224 brush it is a fluffy eyeshadow brush and this brush will change your eyeshadow game i really feel like you can only be as good as your tools when it comes to makeup this has been my ride or die eyeshadow brush it blends like a dream you can make a drugstore eyeshadow look like a million bucks using this brush as long as you blend it's stayed soft after all the washes i really truly think that if you are interested in getting a higher end eyeshadow brush you should definitely look into this one and the mac 217 brush is also a really amazing brush as well it's just a smaller more dense eyeshadow brush yeah i love this brush all right so the next items i have are actually three liquid lipsticks from the same brand these are the nyx liquid suede lipsticks these are really really great for drugstore i do notice that they can be a bit drying but with any liquid lipstick that's just the way the cookie crumbles i don't mind the dryness of them because it's not like terribly dry the first color i have here is sandstorm and i'm gonna swatch it on my hand for you guys i would describe this like a taupey brown with hints of peach very 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 light on the brown it's mostly like a taupey peach to be honest it's really really gorgeous it's what i have on my lips right now I think it is a perfect fall color for when you don't want to be nude, but you don't want color. Do you know what I mean? It's just like right in between there. The next color I have is called Soft Spoken. And this color reminds me of Stila Patina. It's this color right here. It is very pinky, mauve -y, absolutely gorgeous. I actually wear this one a lot for work because it's really like work appropriate. And I really, really love the color. Last one I have here is called Vintage. And this is like legit the perfect fall color if I've ever seen one in my entire life. It is like a wine, very dark and vampy. It's just absolutely stunning for that night that you want to go out and you want to feel a little vampy or for the day where you're not going to work and you want to feel a little vampy. This is literally the perfect fall color. I can't even get over it. Like I said, these are a bit drying on the lips, but as long as you moisturize and you exfoliate your lips, you really should be fine. I have two more liquid lipsticks and they are drugstore liquid lipsticks. They are actually the new Melania Mori Matte Lip Creams, which I did a review and swatch video on. I will link that down below. These are perfect everyday colors. I actually also got a coworker of mine into these. I think she's been liking them. The formula on these are just pretty much the same as the NYX ones. They can be a bit drying. The thing with this color, which is Adore right here, is I noticed that this one crumbles on my lip, but the color is just so gorgeous that it's kind of worth it. I just, you know, wipe it off and reapply after about three hours. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is Adore. It is a lighter version of this Soft Spoken by NYX, and it's got a bit more pink to it, but it's like more on the peachy side. It's just so beautiful on the lips for when you want to be nude but your lips but better kind of a color and then this one is called beloved you guys it looks like i just washed a bunch of the same colors on my hand i'm sorry i'm a nude person i can't help it i apologize this is beloved kind of like a burnt pink is how i would describe it as you can see what's going on with my color scheme here i'm basic i guess <laughs> The next product I have here is this NARS blush in a stick form. And this is the color Orgasm. I actually got this as a gift from my mother-in-law. She did not like the color, I guess. And I'm like, how could you not like the color? I love this color. I have it actually on my cheeks right now. It's just beautiful. And it has like a bit of like shimmer to it. It's right here. It's just like a beautiful, beautiful blush it reminds me of luminoso by milani but obviously much more money so mother-in-law thank you so much it does have a bit of like a sheen to it which is beautiful i love blushes with a sheen because my face can be a really flat 
especially because I try to mattify my face as much as possible since I'm so oily. You can get this not in a stick, but I actually like the stick. Okay, this is actually NYX's blush in taupe, but I don't use this as a blush. I actually use this as a contour color because it is a perfect contour color for my skin right now. I am so light. I'm gonna swatch it right here because there's obviously no other place to swatch it. You can see it right here. Can you see it? You see it right there? A lot of girls on the Makeup Addiction Reddit were talking about this. I always see them talk about it, so I decided to get it and I've been using it for contouring and it's been perfect. Can you tell? Yeah, a little bit really does go a long way and it's com it's incredibly pigmented, but you have to get the new formula, which is the new packaging because the old one is not as pigmented. It's not even, you can barely see it. So NYX Taupe in this packaging is a new formulation it is amazing if you are very light skinned like i am you should get it try it out let me know next thing i have here is this elf blush it is in the color gotta glow and this is not a blush yet again this is actually a dupe for nars albatross it's got like the perfect iridescence to it it is yellow toned so i think this is the perfect highlight for someone with yellow undertones and it creates such, such a lovely sheen it doesn't look like you're trying extremely hard with highlighter i'm just not a big fan of strobing i just think people look really oily i guess it's because i have really oily skin the next thing i have here is this ulta nail polish and lavish is what i have on my nails right now perfect for fall color with just like little hints of glitter that kind of looks like an iridescence to it it's just beautiful i've gotten so many compliments on this nail color i didn't even realize that it was like cute i just put it on my nails because i was like oh it's one of the only fall colors that i have that is not like vampy and i didn't want to wear vampy on my nails this is what i got and people have been loving it and i actually have been falling in love with it i look at my nails and i'm like wow a pretty color you know what i mean people don't talk about ulta nail polishes and how great they are but it's like hello you should because the formulation is amazing it lasts on your nails for like the longest time without chipping and it's just really cheap the last item in my september favorites that i have is this anastasia beverly hills shadow couture world traveler palette it is actually what i'm wearing on my eyes right now from this palette i used soft peach all over my lid, azure on my outer corners, and on my lid I have pink champagne, and in my crease I have Morocco. Just look at these colors. Okay, I know you're like, what the heck, that blue is obviously not fall, and neither is like this metallic ass gold. You can create so many different looks with this palette. My favorite combination to use together is soft peach Morocco fudge, and either spoiled and bellini and it's just like it creates the most beautiful fall eye ever pigmentation on here is like ridiculous here i'm gonna swatch a few for you here they are look at that pigmentation i barely even put my fingers in this palette it's ridiculous anastasia by really hills palettes the pigmentation of their eyeshadows are insane morocco heirloom pink champagne and chic do you see this? Absolutely stunning. This palette is just so great. If you don't have this palette already, you should definitely go out and buy it. it. For the price, I think it's like $30, maybe $35. For the price, it's like, I mean, what more could you want out of shadows? This is worth every single penny and may even be worth much more. All right, so let's get to the regrets. There's four of them. Here is this John Frieda Luxurious Volume Visibly Full, Touchably Soft, All Day Hold Hairspray. I did not like this hairspray because it says here that it's supposed to be a super fine mist, and I thought it was gonna be like this Aveda hairspray that I really like that's a super, super fine mist. It's amazing, but I just don't wanna spend that much on a hairspray. So I thought this was gonna be a super fine mist, but it's not, and it makes my hair feel so tacky and disgusting. So this was a huge, eh, for me, I did not like this at all. Another hair product that I did not like, I actually got this because Ingrid Nielsen said, oh, I use this for my hair. And I was really feeling the way her hair looks. This made my hair so tacky, just like that hairspray. It felt so gross and it didn't do anything. It didn't create no waves. It didn't keep my hair perfectly undone. So this is another thumbs down. This is Miss Fall's Calming 
facial sheet mask. This is supposed to soothe and pamper sensitive skin with botanicals. This didn't do jack shit. If anything, it made my, my face feel extremely dry. I don't think my face has ever felt that dry in my entire life. They also have eye masks. That was also extremely drying. This was awful. I would not recommend this to anyone. Definitely try Dr. Jart facial sheets. Those are way better. They may be a little more expensive, but it's worth it because this was, this was so disappointing. I really wanted it to work and it just didn't. The last regret I have are these Ardell Double Up lashes in the number 201. This is the only one that I used before I was like, F this, I am done. I don't want to use these. I was getting so frustrated trying to put these on. The band is like so thick and I'm just not one for thick lashes. That is why I religiously wear my Ardell Wispies because Thick lash bands just don't work for me. These were also super heavy. So I got this one on after like 15 minutes of hussing and fussing with it. And it was so heavy on my eyes. I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't. Those were my favorites and just a few of my regrets for the month of September. What were you feeling this month? Is there anything in particular that you tried that you were like, oh my God, get it away from me. I never want to see it again in my entire life. Like I said before, I'm also going to leave down a few videos that I mentioned in this favorites that have to do with the MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation, the MAC 196 brush, and the Amore Matte Lip Creams. If you want to see more favorites videos, then just go ahead and click the like button. I will try to be more consistent with making them. Don't forget to subscribe and I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I am so excited every time I see people liking my videos and and people subscribing to my channel and commenting. It just makes me feel like I have a bunch of friends and it makes me so, so, so excited. So thank you so much for your support. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Ipsy versus Birchbox for the month of September, 2015. If you watched my last video, then you know how this is gonna go. Basically, I just open up both my subscription boxes